Hey y'all, it's Vader Vengeance. This is Baby Yoda. This is Goose, not to be confused with my cat, Moose. And I'm back at you again with another wig review. This time I wrote the name of the wig on a note card so I don't forget the name. This one is named Butter Lace Unit 6 by Sensational. And you guys, this wig is sensational. I'm not even gonna waste any time, y'all. I just got four more wigs in the mail. That's right, four more wigs that I paid with with my own coin, y'all. So let's just jump right into the positives and negatives of this wig. Yes, sir. <clears throat> okay, so I have seen other YouTubers review this exact wig and I'm gonna... No more cats in here, you guys. Okay. So <laughs> I've seen other YouTubers review the same exact wig and I'm going to tell you the truth, no details spared. So starting off with the positive, the cap construction for this wig, you guys, oh my gosh, it is a game changer. I know you saw a little bit of it in the introduction, but instead of the wefts being sewn into the cap, this one has a stretchable mesh cap underneath, which is the best invention ever. And I will tell you why. It's because if you take one of, the, hold on, let me show you. Whoa. <laughs> I literally just broke my toenail, you guys. But in the name of science, we are continuing on. Instead of getting away from my closet, I'm going to just insert a clip right here. And this shows you the standard cap construction for another wig I have. Now, as you can see, since the wefts are separated and there's no mesh in between them, it's pretty easy for hairs to slip between the wefts. That just increases the chances of your wig getting tangled. And most importantly, the point of the wig is to have hair on the outside, not on the inside. Okay, so that's the great thing about stretchable mesh cap constructions that completely eliminates the issue and it kind of takes away having to wear a stocking cap under your wig. The next positive about Miss Butter Lace Unit 6, see, I referenced my note card. I'm not forgetting this wig's name, guys. The color. It is such a beautiful, effortlessly natural color. The color that I have her in is chocolate and girl, <laughs> I love me some chocolate. Look at this beautiful color. I'm just gonna do a quick 360 so you could see. The length is almost all the way down my back. The density is pretty light, I would say, which makes it a good wig. Whoa, you probably couldn't hear me the past five minutes because I wasn't facing the camera. I was saying the density of this wig is pretty light which makes it good to wear in the summer fall winter spring wherever you want to wear her I also am in love with the texture of this hair it looks really straight and it feels kind of silky but I kind of feel like it's more of a blend between yakky and straight just because it does feel pretty silky towards the ends but towards the top, it's more of a yakky texture. So it's easy to kind of style the front of the hair without blow drying it or putting mousse or got to be glued in it. You can put it up like this and back from your face. I really love this hair texture, you guys. It's Another set of positives are the hairline and the part. So if I get a little bit closer, you guys can see that the hairline is giving off a pre-plucked look. The lace is really effortlessly blending into my skin tone. It's serving me scalp all the way, 100%. This part, it's a little bit tight. Um, and you can pluck it if you want, but just throwing it on, guys, it looks really good already without having to do any work to it. The only thing I did do to the part, I didn't even put powder in it and it looks amazing. I did flatten it down with a hot comb. It does have a dark root and I flattened the hair down a little bit because it did come a little bit humpy y'all and I'm not talking about hump Wednesday. But it's nothing you can't fix easily with a little hot comb action and this was the result, it looks pretty good y'all. In terms of shedding and tangling, good news there too, this did not shed at all. Nothing. 
Testing it now, you can see as I run my fingers through her, no shedding, no tangling. Now moving on to the negatives. One thing I did not like about this wig, which you could probably tell happening throughout this whole video, it slips. It does have three combs, two in the front, one in the back. However, even with the combs in, it's easily slipping off the top of my head. This issue's not so bad. It can be easily fixed by just putting on a wig grip, but if you don't have one or you just wanna wear it without anything on there, chances are it's going to slip off the top of your head and that's not good. In terms of styling, you guys, I really didn't like this wig as a center part at first, but if you don't like it and you don't have the clips in, you can just easily turn it to the right or the left and it looks great as a side part too. It did come with some baby hairs as you could see, so you could style those down if you want. I don't usually style my baby hairs at all because I don't do that with my natural hair either, but they're there if that's something you want to do. Though it's synthetic, it does take heat up to 300 degrees. I believe I never go past 200, you guys, with synthetic wigs because you could definitely smell them burning. Um, what else? In terms of wear, I would say you could get a pretty good wear out of this wig. The only thing I notice after wearing it all day is that it does get a little bit matted towards your neck in the back. I notice all wigs kind of get tangled towards the back at the end of the day. And guys, I would just comb it out at the end of the day. Always comb your wigs out at the end of the day. It will extend their life. I know if you sleep in it, I would wrap it up. Anything else I forgot? No? Okay. Uh, I would definitely recommend Butter Lace Unit 6 by Sensational. It is a winner winner chicken dinner. So I just like to wear it straight down. Of course, you could try to style it if you want to, but this is what it's gonna look like today, guys. <laughs> Thank you guys so much for watching. I really appreciate y'all wigging out with me. I'll see you next time.